Thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today's the 22nd of June 2017 and I'm going to go over a little bit. There's a situation in at least in America, probably in many countries in the world, but certainly in the United States of America, of people being overweight. I happen to have been one of them who fought for it for many, many years. I was on all kinds of different diets. By the time I joined Scientology, I was a little bit overweight, not much, really not nothing compared to what it ended up being while I was in Scientology. And this video is about Scientology and weight and why are they so fat? No, I'm not going to say why are they so fat because many, many people aren't fat, but many, many people are overweight. So my point is, do they help you? No, they don't. And I want you to know that because people go into it. I didn't go into it to lose weight because I wasn't overweight when I went in there. But I certainly gained weight as I was in the Church of Scientology. It's not really a church. It's a cult. In my opinion, it's certainly a business. No question about it. It is a flat out business where you have to pay for It's like a triangle and you have to pay for every single level all the way. Okay, so let's roll forward to triangle at the top. I'm at uh, the top is OT set OT8. I was on OT7 in 1989. And I was probably 50 pounds overweight when I got on OT7. By the end of it I was 100 pounds overweight. All of the time asking them, "Will you help me? Will you let me get off the level so that I can lose the weight?" Anyway, long story short, I finally joined Weight Watchers which I cannot say enough how helpful they have been to me. But one of the biggest things they did for me, Scientology, when you get to the top, believe it or not, they're not only stopping your free speech, you can't really talk to anybody except what's okay. You know, you can't talk to anyone declared suppressive, which are, is, of course, anyone with any facts out there you cannot talk to. Um, anyway, long story short, for me, it was just awful. It was just awful, awful, awful. And I went to Weight Watchers, and the Weight Watcher lady said, well, you know what? She was giving a talk on decisions and people making decisions on what should you eat? Should you eat this? Should you eat that? And she said, have a committee meeting. And I thought, have a committee meeting? What is she talking about there? Because they were just sort of like, anytime you're talking to yourself, that's your case. And you need to handle that. And she was like, everyone talks to yourself. You know, do you want to have this? Do you want to have that? Should you get the donuts? Should you get the vegetables, fruit, donuts? You know, whatever. Decisions, right? And make a better decision. That was her thing. Every single time. That's what it is. It's just make a better decision. I don't know if any of you have seen What About Bob? It's a movie. It's very funny about a guy that was just terrified of everything. Couldn't do anything. And... Uh, Richard Dreyfus was a psychologist who got him, he had written a book and he just wanted him to buy the book. But basically, he did, Bill Murray did buy the book, started using it, and just doing little baby steps at a time overcame these huge problems. And that's sort of similar to Weight Watcher for me. I just did a little bit at a time. I knew it wasn't so much losing weight that is the biggest problem in weight. It's keeping it off. So... I went to the people that were th had been there for a very long time and were at their goal weight. And I said, what do you guys do? And they said, we come every single week. And I thought, all right, that's what I'm doing. And I lost 60 pounds in the very first year. I was in Scientology. They were not helping me at all. I got to Weight Watchers, started losing weight, lost 60 pounds. And I felt fantastic. I mean, the change in losing 10 pounds is tremendous. I mean, it, it's it's hard to believe. You know, you don't really think it's that much. We, I think we had a lady in Weight Watcher uh, uh, last year who came in in a wheelchair and on oxygen. And then a couple meetings later, she walked in and got an award for losing 15 pounds. And we were all like, okay, who's this lady? And she said, well, I lost a little bit more. And we all went, and she went, uh, the wheelchair? And she said, well, I still use it occasionally, but I could, I could walk in here and stay here for the whole meeting. And she said, and there's something else, oxygen. You know, and it was just like, wow. And now it's a year later. She's going on vacation. She's just a completely different person. And you see that a lot in Weight Watchers. People say, but doesn't that cost money? And it's like, yes, it costs money.
money to be overweight. It costs money to go to the doctors. It costs money to buy medicine. A lot of things cost money. And uh, everything, not everything, but many, many things cost money. And you might as well invest in yourself because that's the thing. It's every day you're not, you're kind of going, I know I should, but I'm not going to. Or I'm going to try just eating carrots, that'll work. It won't because you're going to go back to eating. And that was my realization. It was like I had tried, you name it, you type in and name any diet. I've been on it. I, I have. I tried every diet there was. And then I got into like, well, I must have a kidney problem. That must be it, right? And of course, Scientology was like, well, it's your case. That's it, which is, you know, all this mental stuff that I had. And I'm not saying there isn't mental stuff that goes along with being overweight because you feel crummy. You know, you just do. But it isn't caused by that. And it really is eating smaller portions, eating three meals a day and two snacks. That's it eat smaller portions, take a, she brought out a plate of what we used to eat, me, used to eat when we were kids. And they're like little salad plates. That was our dinner plate. That was it. Now they have plates that are like as big as this. And so you, they put two breasts of chicken if you eat out, right? They have a monumental amount of food. Most of my friends and I, we split an entree and get an extra salad. It's cheaper. And it's way less calories because you can say, well, I won't eat it all, but you tend to eat it all. And, uh, or you're going to bring it home and then it just sits in your refrigerator. So, you know, try the thing of sharing and also smaller portions. And, uh, you know, just if you can start Weight Watchers, it really works. I mean, I know tons of people that have lost weight with it, myself included. I've lost 100 pounds. And I've kept it off now this year, this month, for seven years. So I'm really, really proud of that. It's really, it's one, of, it's a huge accomplishment for me. And I'm very happy about it. So anyway, I love you guys. And I just wanted to tell you that if you're thinking of joining Scientology, don't. Because they have very abusive things that are creepy and awful. If you need to lose weight, they're not it. They have nothing to help you with weight. Nothing. And if you are overweight, you do need a support system. It's very, very hard to do it all on your own. And, it, and people think, well, I'll just do it via the computer. Not a good idea. It's really good to go in. It's one hour a week. It's an hour. It's one hour out of an entire week that you give to yourself. And I can't say it enough. It, you know, start today. She, Flora used to give this great example of like, you know, everyone wants to get dinner by summertime. But then if they don't, it's like, okay, so I'll just eat through the summer and I'll start in the fall. And in the fall, they go, oh, it's the fall. And then we got October. And so I might as well wait till after October. Then it's going to be Thanksgiving. Okay, I'll skip it. I'll just wait till January of next year. And then I'll start then. And it just, it never happens. You know, you have to start. That's what it is. You have to start. You have to walk in. You have to commit yourself to it and come every week and just have a ball losing weight. It feels terrific. I can't tell you. I feel fantastic. And I want to thank all of you for supporting me. And I love you. And I love you for helping expose the abuses of the Church of Scientology. One of them for me is fraud. They saying they'll do things when they don't. They don't say they'll help you lose weight, but they don't say they can't. Right? They don't say we won't. They don't say it won't. They say, I think we can help you out. I do. And I'm sorry it's freezing a little bit. I shouldn't be moving around so much. My little thing is getting weird. All right. So anyway, there you go. I love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Ciao.